Welcome to this video about animating the bubble sort algorithm in Blazor. I will go to the index eraser component. In here, I first create a list of integers that we uh, want to order. And because I want to start with a randomly uh, ordered list, I have to also define a property of type uh, random, like uh, a field of type random and initialize it here in the initialized method. And then here I can create them by assigning a numerable range. We will start by one, count to 12, order by Now you may ask like why exactly one to 12, you could also make it a bit with more elements so that we see it a bit more because we are using bootstrap and bootstrap as a styling system with 12 columns. We can uh, very easily style them when we use only numbers from one to 12. Now uh, the whole sorting mechanism has to run concurrently so that we can watch how the sorting is happening. Therefore I'm marking the method async. I could also, uh, run the whole method in parallel, but because we are going to uh, to call await task delay and not thread dot sleep, uh, it would be, uh, yeah, it's better if we do it uh, asynchronously. So here is, we are asynchronously waiting uh, 200 milliseconds. When we come in here, the thread is getting released and then the state machine uh, notifies uh, 200 milliseconds after that, okay, we can continue without blocking a thread. Now here I'm asking if the, the element in the sequence that comes before uh, its following element is, if the following element is bigger than the, the no, well, <laughs> if the following element, which is this one here, it's the following element because we have i plus one, is uh, smaller than the, than the the preceding element, we want to swap them out because we want to push the, the numbers uh, ascendingly. So we want uh, the highest numbers uh, at the end. Now here the, the swapping is happening and therefore we have to have like a, a local uh, variable where we can store it uh, and then here set it and then I have to define a property of type double, call it current position because I need this I need this uh, field uh, because we want to uh, also uh, make a progress bar. I'm not sure if I have said it's a property. Uh, it's, it's of course a field, field of type double. And then I'm calling status change because we want to reorder the elements and also update the progress bar. So, and then here I have to calculate the progress. How can we do this? By dividing the current position uh, by the times that the that the method will run and how many times is the method going to run? We can calculate this by multiplying first ints, uh, the, the elements, uh, by the, the count of the elements in the sequence by the count of the elements in the sequence minus one and then dividing it uh, by two. And here I have, yeah, okay, that's right. And then here I'm just going to multiply everything by 100, but Okay, we have uh, okay. Uh, somehow everything is. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, in intelligence has left us, but I think it should work here. I have to call sort. Hmm. And if intelligence would work, it would tell us uh, that sort uh, is returns a task and we are not awaiting it. So it, uh, it just runs. Uh, this method will 
return before this sort uh, method uh, has returned. But that's exactly the behavior we want because if you would await sort here, the, the web page would be wide, uh, like would load until the whole method is finished. Uh, but now I'm still a bit concerned, like what is happening? Uh, yeah, just run the application. Oh, first, of course, I have to display the progress bar here. Uh, I have here copied on the right hand side, so. Okay, <laughs> and here I think, yeah, okay, great. And then just display all the elements. And here, as I told you, Bootstrap has 12 columns and because you have only numbers from one to 12, they are according to their, uh, to their number, they, the width is according to the number, let's just say it. And then padding one, and here we're also going to display the number. So uh, now you see here, uh, green squigglies, the call is not awaited, the current method will return before the, the method uh, here has completed, but it's exactly because, uh, we, what we want. We want the, the concurrency here. Uh, and because we are returning a task, we are also not blocking the method. So as I told you, we have two options to return a task, either asynchronously or by creating a new a new task. And uh, yeah. so now you see the progress bar and you see the elements, how they are getting reordered. They are getting pushed to the back according to their size. And yeah, I, I think it works. Uh, yeah, so in this uh, video, I've shown you how we can uh, use concurrency in Blazor and how we can uh, animate the, the whole thing. 